Chez Panisse has evolved over the years. At this point, what we're famous for is getting really great organic produce from local farms and making food. That's the simple answer. What it really means is there's a lot of talented, interesting people here, and we all have a different take on how the food should come together. But we know what Alice would want, and we kind of do things in her vision. I write the menu, but I know what she would like or not like. And part of my job is to forage at all the farmer's markets, because I buy the produce for the restaurant as well. So we buy produce from everyone around uh, in a very small radius. We have one farm that grows a lot of stuff just for us. That's Canard Farm. We buy everything that we can that's really good and local and delicious and vibrant, and we figure out what to do with it after we buy it. Many of us run Chez Panisse and have for a long time. Many of us have worked here forever. I've worked here for 20 years. It started off with French roots and Italian roots. There's some Spanish in there, but there's a very Chez Panisse way of having a meal. The food is not so restauranty. I would say. It's like good home cooking. However, this restaurant's been pretty influential over the years, so what we do now, I think, seems more common than it used to seem but so be it. Downstairs is a fixed price menu. You sit down and the meal comes to you. The waiters have all tasted the food thoroughly so they can recommend a wine that goes with it really well. Um, you have to kind of give yourself over to that. If you go up the stairs to the cafe, it's more bustling, it's noisier. It's all the same ingredients in both restaurants, but there it's a la carte. The focus of, the, of Chez Panisse has changed over the years. At first it was just, let's make some really good food. We know that you vote with your dollar. And now that we're a more famous restaurant, um, we know that if we buy from certain people, it means something in the world. And we take that responsibility very seriously.